We good? Yep. We good? All right. Hey guys, it's David coming. Uh... <laughs> hey guys, it's David coming at you from Organic Prize Books, and we're having a grand time today. We're having so much fun. Uh, I forgot your name because we have so much fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as a quick reminder, you already know, if you want to be eligible to win a $25 gift card, all you have to do is subscribe and leave a comment down below to this video. Uh, we're going to be looking today at X-Men Inferno. Now, this is the one that we um, got recently. Yeah. This is the prologue. You were saying, JP, you want to say Yeah, that? so we got the uh, the DM like two weeks ago. We got the standard this week. Yeah. And we got the prologue to show you guys what it's going to look like on the shelf side by side. Yeah, so let's take a look. This is the front, of course, the spine. If we put it with the uh, prologue, of course, it looks like that. Nice. And uh, we've already done one on the prologue, right? We've already... Yeah, we already made it. Okay, the back. And then, again, like you said, this is the, this is the, the standard. No, this is the standard. No, 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 that one's the standard. This is the standard. We got this one you know, recently. This is the DM that we got previously. So let's uh, take a look at what it looked like under the hood. Mm. I thought it was really cool when you see the, the fire. Yeah. Oh, that is nice. Okay, front, spine, back. Probably looks all good together with the fire. Yeah, fire. It matches in front of the sure. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so I don't know this story, just as a, you know, a, you know, for forward you know i do not know this story so don't if i mess up i am sorry we're definitely gonna have fun with some of the names that we see here uh let's take a look of course the uh, oh breaks down the different chapters or the different uh, issues that came from this of course looks like it was 90 or 88 88 to 89 so it was one of their big events for the year and of course the pages are lettered very it is very you know 90s style artwork very 80s as well this is called uh, Baldy McBaldness. That's uh, you know a new superhero. You don't know her yet. She's coming coming at you. Uh, <laughs> I thought this was Jean Grey, but it's not. I don't know who it is. If you know, let me know. I mean, it looks like the girl on the cover. Yeah. That one. Yeah. <laughs> who I don't know if she's bad. Is she bad? She probably is bad. It looks like she's bad. She's a baddie. <laughs> so what is it about? Like I was I was reading a little bit of it, and I guess it's something that has to do with like demons and something like that. So I guess it's probably magic related, uh, and I'm sure just looking at some of the comic books that show up here in the in the forward, it shows like Spider-Man, it shows the Avengers. So it is like a, a cross um, cross team ish, like yeah, like it has the Excalibur, mutants, Avengers, uh, Spider-Man, yeah, all that. So it, it probably does span all those of, all those different uh, titles at the time. Is that X? Terminators. Exter uh, exterminators! <laughs> That's pretty funny, man. <laughs> the Beast, of course. Love Beast. Um, love Beast with clothes even better, because, you know, if he was just walking around in his furry little underwear, that's just, hey, man, put some clothes on. Uh, but yeah, so I heard it was like about demons, so that's cool. You know, that's not something that you think about when you think of X-Men. Of course, they're mutants, all that such, but demons... Uh, playing a, uh, a role in one of their stories is actually pretty interesting. Uh, again, this is pre my start of comics, so I don't know much about this event. So if you do, let me know what's going on with it. What I mean, we have the prologue, as you know, and then we also have the actual Inferno. So it must have been a pretty big event if it has a whole a whole omnibus of just the prologue, you know? So if you know, let me know. Break it down to me. What's going on in the story? Uh, it definitely looks like there's some sort of beasts, demons, or whatever. And it does have, uh, I look, I like how in between each chapter, it's a black page with the fire. Fire. And, um, you know, it has gremlins. Looks like it's gremlins. Looks like, uh, of course, you know, you got your gene. You got, uh, uh, is that Iceman? Yeah. Is that Franklin? No, that's not Franklin. <laughs> is this, oh, look at this. This is a cool costume for Cyclops. I like that a lot. Nice. Maybe it's like an alternate version of Cyclops, you know? What do you think, JP? I have no idea. You have no idea either, right? I have no idea. I'm just like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, it does look like it's demons. So, what's going on? Who are these people? What's, why, why is there like a baby? There looks like there's a baby somewhere that they're trying to get. Is it that little kid? Why is he so important? Who is he? Is he still alive now? 
Is this Mephisto? This looks like Mephisto. Who's this dragon guy? That can't be Mephisto. That's a female demon. Oh, she has boobs. She has <laughs> boobs. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hey, you know what? Mephisto can be whatever he wants to be. That's okay. We support Mephisto. We support you. We are allies. I like Colossus. See? Colossus can wear just underwear because his body's all metal so he looks real cool. Beast, it's like, bro, you know when you put like an underwear on a dog and it just looks off? <laughs> That's what Beast looks like. It's like he has an underwear on because he's not potty trained yet. Anyway, um, yeah, let's take a look. Let's go through Storm, of course. Badass. And uh, Archangel. This is after he, I guess, you know how... Um, Apocalypse gave him the metal wings. So that's probably after that. Wolverine. Got your bad boys in there. Thor. You got your men in black. Oh no, those are the Blues Brothers. Looks like it. <laughs> Is that an actual for real? <laughs> I think so. You know what? I think so. That is very much what they look like. Look. So maybe it is them. Okay. Cool. Do you know? Let me know. I already know what Power Pack. Is the power pack. <laughs> I made an entire omnibus of that. I know. <laughs> hey, power pack. You know, it's look. This guy looks like the guy from Spawn. Oh, what's his face? Uh, extractor. Exterm. No. Uh, eviscerator. I think. Look, even car, even demon cars. What is going on? Do the cars eat you now? You know what? I thought about that. If demons can possess people, can't they possess like animals and cars too? Bro, that'd be scary. What if they possess your PC and all you get is viruses? Is that? This looks like the thing. Or at least the thing. A different thing. So it's one thing and two things. <laughs> thing one and thing one and thing two. <laughs> I didn't know there was more than one thing. I know. Uh, this is what's his face? Um, Kong the Car Can Kong the Conqueror. Kang the Conqueror, whatever. Yeah, he conquers. That's his thing. Silver Surfer, Spider-Man. So this all plays into it. That's pretty cool. Um, very colorful artwork. You know, the 90s had a really, really big impact on, on a lot of the comics. Spider-Man, of course, never changes. J. Jonah Jameson. And the actual, oh look, so maybe the, the Hobgoblin actually became a demon. That's cool. How do they get possessed? If you know, let me know. I like to I like to expand my not look zombies. <gasps> this is pre this is pre Marvel zombies, you know. They had that idea already back then. So what's going on? Look at this guy. This guy's scary. That's real scary. When the teeth are like that, it's very much spawn ish. Like you know that style. That freaks me out though. <laughs> you don't like big teeth. No, no. And then, I don't know, Gargoyle from the cartoons, Gargoyle, he shows up here too, look at that. And this is Cloak and Dagger, so that's cool, they're showing up here. Let's see if he has any extras in the back. Mm. Okay, let's break down all the, the characters, and who they are, and the, oh look, it also shows, I guess, what, uh, what pages they're from, or the comic books they're from, that's cool. There's some I've never heard. Jacosta. I don't know who that is. That's cool. I didn't know Penny uh, Alfred Pennyworth was in this. I thought you know when he when he takes a vacation from being Batman's butler, he comes <laughs> and works for the Avengers. <laughs> he looks like him too. Uh, Avengers Mountain, Avengers uh, Mansion. Cool. This is a cool, this is a pretty cool crossover event. Like I said, I have no idea. If you do, let us know. We we. We'd be glad to talk about that on our comments. And it looks like it breaks down the, the demons and, you know, uh, Mr. Sinister. Power Pack. Uh, My Little Pony here. Um, My Little Brontosaurus over here. And My Little Plane over here. And then these cool artworks. Oh, that looks like... Um, you, remember, you ever play Earthworm Jim? No. No, bro. Yeah, it looks like that. The black and white pencil of the of the some of the scenes that's really cool 
and then other, I guess, covers, the variant covers. And there you go, that's the end of that one. So like I said, this is the Inferno series. Like we said, we have the DM version and of course the standard one. And you know, if you wanna know what, what came before, get the prologue as well, you know, get all three of them, get your collection set, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Congratulations to Fetty for winning a $25 gift card. All you have to do is go to our website, click on the Message Us tab, and reach out to us. We'll see you in the next video.